know what time it is right yeah it's time to go over yet another list man th this is the season for these lists and they get more and more creative by the day now this list shout out to my guy byron who sent it to me this list is the top safeties in the nfl is by usa today but it's not the top five safeties in the nfl it's not even the top 10 safeties in the nfl it's the top 13 so I guess these guys were like, you know what? It's, it's some guys that we just don't want to leave off of a list, so we're going to do 13. Why they chose that number? No clue, but it's all good. So let's get straight into it. And again, appreciate you, Byron, for sending me this list. Um, shout out to my other guy on Instagram. My guy on Instagram, he sent me a list, and it was a list of, uh, this is how you know it's rough right now. Uh, he sent me a list that somebody compiled of, uh, let me see. It was my guy, Motivational Entertainer. Uh, it was a list of the uh, NFL team logos. I said, when I saw that, I said, oh, man, oh, yeah, we really suffering right now. If that's the kind of list we're making of the NFL team logos, oh, yeah, it, it's rough out here. We're going to get through it, though. We're going to get through it. I promise y'all we're going to get through it. Training camp is right around the corner. I, it, it, like, literally is. We are, what, like three weeks away? So it's right there. Anyway, let's get into this list of these top 13 NFL safeties. Number 13 from the Los Angeles Chargers, Mr. Derwin James. Derwin James, man, all the ability in the world, all the potential in the world, uh, but he's also had all the injuries in the world. Now, last year, um, he was healthy, uh, but we that's just, for Chargers, that's got to be just a, such a big concern and a big scare, knowing that he's faced injury after injury. No, he could ball out. No, that boy could play. Um, but it's just been, the injury's just been crazy. So hopefully he can stay healthy and hopefully he can continue to reach his potential as an NFL safety. Cause Derwin James can ball, man. He, he can ball. And, and every time I see a picture of Derwin James or something, I never forget the time where I played him in Madden. And so he could ball on the field and he could ball on a virtual field too. I did not score a single point. A single point. I did not score a single point. So uh, it, it was rough, man. But, but shout out to Derwin James, man. Uh, number 12, Micah Hyde from the Buffalo Bills. Um, and Micah Hyde, uh, yeah, he's another baller at the safety position. Uh, he's alongside uh, Jordan uh, Poyer. Uh, from the Bills, who is also another baller. Maybe we'll see him later on in this list. Maybe not. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, this. So, him at number 12. Okay, cool. Number 11. <laughs> oh, Minka Fitzpatrick. And he is a playmaker at the safety position. He also played corner as well. We know, of course, remember him being on the Miami Dolphins. And when Dolphins started, started getting real ugly over there, Minka was like, hey, somebody come get me, please. And I remember wanting the Ravens to do it, but they didn't do it. And then Steelers gave up their first round pick, and they said, oh, come on, Minka, come, come home. Come home. And he's been balling for them ever since. So shout out to Minka Fitzpatrick. And he just got his bread, too. Um, now, number 10, somebody else who, especially this offseason, had been rumored to the Ravens. Um, had been, that's Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. He had actually been rumored to the Ravens this offseason, and then he had actually been rumored to the Ravens in 2019 offseason. So he's always had this little connection with the Baltimore Ravens that never ended up being a connection. Um, and that's Tyra Matthew uh, from the New Orleans Saints. He is ranked as the number 10 uh, overall safety in the NFL. See, this is where this is where I thought a list would have started at like number 10, 10 through 1. But again, they did top 13. So, hey, that's cool. Everybody's entitled to do their list how they want to do it. We just hit a review it. That's it. That's it. Um, but shout out to the Honey Badger, man. I'm sure he's going to do well over there in New Orleans, especially being from there. Like when you get you get to play, that's what I always say. It. I love when players get to play where they're from because it can sort of give you just a a boost of energy and just comfort and just happiness. Knowing that, hey, I'm from here and I ain't even got to move nowhere to go to our home stadium. Or I'm originally from here, hey, I'm back at the crib. So it's just it's, it's nice for them to have a homecoming. Number nine. Mm. Number nine uh, is the reason. Because initially I know uh, when the Chuck Clark rumors first started, um, he was the reason that uh, Chuck Clark to Seattle rumors died quick. Uh, because they already have their starting safeties. And uh, obviously Jamal Adams is one of them. But Quandry Diggs at number nine for the Seattle Seahawks. He's the other one. 
Um, so they're set there. Uh, number eight. Number eight. Familiar face. Former New Orleans Saint. Current Baltimore Raven. Marcus Williams. Marcus Williams. And let's read what they had to say about Marcus Williams. Because, you know, the Ravens players, they get special treatment here when it comes to these lists. We don't read all the paragraphs on the other play, but when it comes to the Ravens players, you know, we got to read what they got to say. Let's see what they had to say. Williams, who signed a five-year, $70 million contract with the Ravens in March, that included 17.08 mil guaranteed, didn't make our safety list last year. This would be consistent with his year-to-year -year inconsistency. So, for Ravens fans, <laughs> reading that is like, whoa, yikes. So, if, if <laughs> he didn't make it last year, um, but he made it this, this year, uh, and this is his year-to-year -year inconsistency. So, I guess then this year he wouldn't be scheduled to make it, right? Well, hopefully that changes it. Anyway, um, stats from uh, NFL Doug Farrar said, Marcus Williams is the Brett uh, Cyberhagen of safeties. I'm going to be real with you. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. But anyway, says, per PFF, his opponent – Passer rating allowed per season in 2017, 56.4. That's pretty low. In 2018, 115.6. That's pretty high. Uh, in 2019, 42.2. Shut it down, baby. In 2020, 118.8. <laughs> that's pretty bad. And then in 2021, 54.2. So that's the, the inconsistency. It's sort of roller coaster that he's been on as a safety. So hopefully... Uh, with the Ravens and everything that they have around him, it'll make his job easy and it'll help him keep his uh, opponent passer rating low. Ho hopefully it will, man, because we, we don't need these 115.6. We don't need these 118.8. We don't need none of that. No thanks. Anyway, it says, fortunately for Williams, he secured the bag with an outstanding 2021 season. And we'll just have to wait and see how things play out in another even year. But in 2021, few deep safeties were better. Uh, William, and, and that's exactly what the Ravens needed, somebody to play that deep safety role because they gave up so many plays over the top. Uh, they were out of position so many times, and, and, and that just, it wasn't even, and now a big part of it was personnel for sure. Um, but a lot of it was just guys just not knowing what was going on, guys being lost, guys not being on the same page. But now we have not only a veteran, but a young veteran still in his prime veteran not old and washed up veteran playing that safety position for the ravens so he can use both smarts and skills to get the job done so that should help out a lot i said williams allowed eight completions on 16 targets uh, for 112 yards 29 yards after the catch two interceptions one touchdown and that opponent pass rating of 54.2 on this deep pass deflection against the Eagles, oh, okay, so now they, they were just showing a bunch of highlights and stuff, uh, so that's cool. Y'all obviously can't see that. You could just go to the article. Uh, it said, the Ravens obviously aren't too concerned about the year-to-year -year variants, uh, and with box safety Chuck Clark and first-round do-it-all rookie Kyle Hamilton on board, Baltimore may have the NFL's best and most interesting three-safety group. That's a big deal in an era where all kinds of coverages make up the norm, and that's true. That's true. And this is something that a lot of people have been talking about uh, all offseason. Um, with the Ravens, the, the situation that they find themselves in right now with their safeties. So they can do some uh, good things with them. Uh, number seven, <clears throat> Kevin Byard. Bird, I always forget how to say his last name. Initially, I remember before when I used to say it a while back, I used to say it wrong, then I got corrected, uh, then I've been saying it right, and now I haven't said his name in a long time, so I do not remember the pronunciation of his name. I think it's Bayard, but y'all know what I'm talking about from the Titans. He is at number seven. Um, one of the better small school safeties of his era. Uh, he was selected by the Titans in the third round of 2016, uh, and he has been an outstanding safety in all of his NFL seasons except for one. 2020 was rough for him in the, the Tennessee defense, um, but Dean Pease was no longer the Titans defensive coordinator. Uh, so he said that he's saying that's why 2020 was a little down year for him because Dean Pease left. Y'all remember Dean Pease? Look at all these Ravens connections with these safeties, man. Like the, the Ravens connections are there, man. Anyway, number six, Xavier McKinney from the New York Giants. Not familiar with his game at all, but apparently he is a baller because he's at number six. Number five, Antoine Winfield Jr. from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You know what? I, I 
did not realize he was a safety. This whole time I thought he was a corner. Maybe I was thinking of his dad who used to play for the Vikings. But I, I really thought like Antoine Winfield Jr. this whole time was a corner. But see, see how like I, I, my mind be slipping too. I don't, I don't know if any of y'all thought the same thing, but yeah. Anyway, number four, Jimmy Ward from the 49ers. Um, Jimmy Ward, it seems like he's been with the 49ers for like forever, man. Like forever. Um, let me see if they got when he got drafted. Oh, okay, so he has been. Say so he was the 30th overall pick in the 2014 draft. Okay. Says so over time he transitioned from a slot box defender to more of a pure free safety. That's a big transition right there. That's a huge transition right there. From playing in the slot and playing around the box to really dropping back and being a free safety, that's big. Not everybody can do that. Not everybody can do that. So the fact that he did, shout out to him. Number three, somebody who I had, um, when he was a free agent, I remember really wanting the Ravens to sign him. New England Patriots safety, uh, Devin McCourty. The twin, by the way. Shout out to him and Jason. But I had really wanted the, the, the Ravens to sign him when he was a free agent. So it was years back. Um, but because I just, this guy was always making plays, man. He was always making plays for the Patriots. Devin McCourty was just a, a, a straight up baller, man. Ain't nothing else to call him, just a straight up baller. He's been doing it for a long time. But anyway, um, <clears throat> number two, Justin Simmons. Oh, from the Broncos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they got a nice little safety duo, too. Um, but Justin Simmons from the Broncos. I remember when, when Ravens played the Broncos last year. I'm like, gosh, this guy is, he is really, really good, man. Because this dude was literally everywhere. Well, except for that Hollywood Brown long, deep touchdown catch. But besides that, Justin Simmons was everywhere, man. He, he was everywhere. And the guy, he could hit, he could cover. He could do everything, man. Um, so when you got somebody that can do everything and do everything at a high level too, because there's some people that could do everything, but it may not be such a, such a high level, but he could do everything. When you can do everything good, then you are great. So shout out to Justin Simmons. And number one, who do y'all think number one is? Who do you think number one is? And if you want to, you could even, you could pause the video real quick, uh, and, and type in, this is who I thought number one is. And if you want to edit your comment later or just to type a comment to reply to your comment, who it ended up being versus who you thought it was. You can do that. Do your thing. Um, but number one from his his partner was on here uh, at number, was it 12 or 13? Um, no, I think it was 12. Micah Hyde. And number one is Jordan Poyer from the Buffalo Bills. Now, since he's number one, let's give him the respect to reading his the profile that they put on him. It says, and now we enter the realm of the truly preposterous. Poya is one half of the NFL's best safety duo with Micah Hyde, which may be why he's seriously, oh, serially underrated. Well, could have put seriously there too, but serially underrated. Serially, serially was the word they used. Anyway, uh, there's also the perception that he's not a great run defender, but when you have a deep defender like this, dinging him for that is very much like complaining because you can't tow anything away. Or you can't tow anything with your Lamborghini. I like that. I like that little analogy right there. Uh, last season, Poy allowed 13 catches on 28 targets for 61 yards, 40 air yards, no touchdowns, five interceptions, and an opponent passer rating of... 13.7. 13.7. Didn't give up a single touchdown and had five picks. Mm. Only gave up 61 yards last year. How is that possible? Even for a safety. Obviously, for a corner, they're going to give up way more than that. But for a, even for a safety, though, 61 yards... In 17 games? That don't make no sense. He said, folks, that just doesn't happen. Among safeties who played at least 50% of their team's defensive snaps in 2021, McCourty ranked second with a 31.8 opponent passer rating allowed. Marcus Williams, yo, he ranked third at 54.2. Just so you know what we're dealing with here. As an NFL quarterback, you'd better three times you you'd be three times better off throwing the ball into section 320 than you would be in targeting. Poya. This came after a couple seasons in which Poya was more exposed in coverage, but the tape seems to show that this isn't a one-year wonder, baby. So there you have it. That those are the top 13 safeties in the NFL, according to 
USA Today. This this article is at touchdownwire.usatoday.com. But then we ain't done yet. We got some honorable mentions. First honorable mention, Buda Baker from the Cardinals. He is a baller, too. He's somebody that's all over the field. Uh, Jalen Thompson from the Cardinals. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Jeremy Chen from the Panthers. A lot of people thought he should have been rookie of the year. Uh, Jesse Bates from the Bengals. He is a baller. And they got that whole contract dispute going on right now. Listen, if you're not a baller, then ain't nobody going to be disputing no contract with you. If you're not a baller, they, they ain't going to they ain't gonna franchise tag you. They'll be like, oh, you, you're not a baller. Bye. You, you can walk. Go be a free agent. But the fact that Bengals franchise tagged him, he wanna he wants to get paid. Who knows what they're gonna do? We'll see. But yeah, Jesse Bates is a baller. Harrison Smith. Oh, big hitter, Harrison Smith. Harrison Smith will knock somebody out. You come on his side. Uh Adrian Amos. Oh, from the from the Packers. I think he's from Baltimore too. Um, Javon Holland. Oh, man. <laughs> that Ravens Dolphins game last year. This this see, this is why I appreciate uh, football so much because yeah you watch your team and you hope that your your team your individual team does great blah 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 but that's cool but you also in each game you get put on to different players that you may not have known anything about whatsoever that was Javon Holland for me last year in that Dolphins game when I watched I said man is this dude a linebacker that he a safety I think he was returning punts too he was blitzing he was in cup he was doing everything everything. And I think, ain't he number eight, too? Anyway, um, Adrian Phillips from the Patriots. Kyle Duggar from Maryland from the Patriots. And Amani Hooker from the Tennessee Titans. So, this is a fun list. This is a fun list to just sort of give you a peek into who the, some of the NFL's top uh, performing safeties are. Uh, how they do, what they do, and how good they are at it. So, I appreciate y'all, team. Keep it clean. I love y'all. If y'all got any good list. That y'all want us to go over Hey feel free You can send it Send it If it's good Hey we'll, we'll go over it If it's not so good We'll just keep our conversation In the DM But anyway I love y'all I appreciate y'all And we out